pains me every time I hear that hair dryer thing because he was a fantastic man to work on and 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 if he did if he hadn't had the temperament, I don't think that we would have been as good as we were. Can we talk a little bit about Sir Alex? Was he scary? People talk about the hair dryer back in the day and and sort of he's quite an intimidating persona, but did you find him scary? No. He's one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. First of all, he, he's a he's a very very nice guy. He's mm-hmm. you know per- perfect manager. I absolutely loved every minute working with him. But you also have to stay on the right side of him. You also have to do what he expected you to do, and he has that ruthless uh, side to him, which I think it's important for a manager managing a club the size of Manchester United. He would always give people an opportunity to do better, but he won't. He would never give them two. You know, then then you're out. It's interesting now what, what's happening at Manchester United because we see similarities to that kind of leadership. We haven't seen that for 10 years. Now we see somebody who cares about the football club, first of all, cares about the football club. He wants to make the football club great. He understands that he is a servant of the football club and he's not there or a bigger person than the football club. And that's been evident right from the beginning. Then, of course, he had a few lucky breaks with with situations where he could stamp his authority. The whole thing with Ronaldo, I mean, the way he dealt with that, it's giving everybody faith in him and that we've picked the right man and he's the right man for the job. That's what he was like as well. That was the law. And if you abide if you, yeah, you abide to the law, you're fine. If you stepped outside, No. Then, then you met the ruthless man. Pains me every time I hear that ha- hair dryer thing because he was a fantastic man to work on. And, and and if he did, if he hadn't had the temperament, I don't think that we would have been as good as we were. Temperament is important, you know. And and we were thick skins. And, and if you're not thick skinned playing for Manchester United, you you won't survive. Did he ever say don't go on international duty? Never. Never. No. Never, never, ever. He was so proud of his players playing international games. Yeah. At all all the championships that I've been at in my time there, he would always come around to the hotel and say hello. He absolutely loved seeing his players there. Yeah, of mm-hmm. course, at times, you know, it's it's a stressful thing to, to, to give five players away to England, four to Ireland, one to Denmark, one to Holland, and not knowing where your players are going to be and how they're going to come, what state they're coming back. But I think over time he realized that these players, these guys that he that he has scouted, they, they he had done his due diligence on these players, not just for what they were able to do with their feet, but also how they were uh, as human beings and responsible individuals. So he, over time learn to trust the players to look after themselves. 